another video on the channel today. We're here for the match preview between Newcastle United and Wolverhampton Wanderers. It's a massive game, Sunday, 2 o'clock kickoff at St James's Park. A massive game for both clubs. I'm recording this on the Thursday morning, this will go out on the Friday. So, Wolverhampton Wanderers have still got to play the Europa League game. But we'll get on to Wolves, we'll talk about Newcastle, I'll say my prediction and stuff. But before I start the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it would mean a lot. We're trying to grind and we're trying to hit 7k as soon as possible. If we get at 7k by the end of the year, it's still like 900 subs, so I can't do that. Only you can go and subscribe. So if you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Let's get in the video now. We'll start off by talking about Wolves, going into Newcastle, and then off the video there. So let's get in the video now, and we'll start off with Wolves. So looking at Wolves' recent results. Obviously, they haven't played the Europa League game. So when this video goes out, they would have uh, already played it. They would have won, they would have lost, but... Good thing about that, they might be a bit jet lagged or a bit frustrated because if they lose that game, it's Thursday, we play them on Sunday, they've still got to travel back to uh, Wool, like Wolverhampton, train for the game. They've only got two days to prepare. We've had since Tuesday to prepare, uh, so and they've just had a game. So will they be? We'll all know how they will set up against us from their team they play against. Who they, I don't even know who they're playing. If we go on to uh, all the games here, yeah, I don't know who the who are they playing. Oh bloody hell, Sol, Solavam. I don't even want to try and say that. But they've got them today. Uh, basically a six o'clock kick off. I don't know why it's a <laughs> five to six kick off. Don't know why that is. But obviously they play us on the Sunday. So I don't know if they'll be a bit jet lag. If they're gonna be. You know what I mean. But anyways, their last six games, they drew to Crystal Palace 1-1 away from home for me. That's a good result for them. Uh, they drew 1-1 with Redden in the cup, but beat them on penalties 4-2. They beat Watford 2-0. And then they beat Pashiktas, uh Turkish Giants, 1-0 with a Willy Bolly 90th minute winner. And then they even beat Manchester City. That was an absolutely unbelievable result. And then they drew it to Southampton 1-1. I watched that game on match of the day and I thought Wolves had to take some of their chances. Corone up top, he doesn't seem to cut it for the Premier League in my opinion. But from the way he sets up, he's so direct. He just likes to run forward, right? And when he does shoot, he looks very off balance. He's leading back. For me, he hasn't really hit in the Premier League so far. I don't know how many Premier League goals he's got to his name. But for me... He doesn't really t uh, look the way for Wolves because they've looked like they've been playing Jota and Gimenez in the Europa League and then they've been playing Corona in the Premier League. So we'll have to see what happens there. But with Wolves setting up, as we all know, they've got a good team. Last time they came to St James's Park, they won 2 1. And we all know what happened there. I got a bit of viral from my video. And Wolves had one, which was a strange one last year. Not from that game. They got another 90th minute, not a winner. Uh, an equaliser with Willy Bolly. For me, we still should have got the three points there, but that season's gone. We're focusing on this game. But anyways, we'll have one just some of their key players. Game as I mentioned, Jota as I mentioned, Jean Martino in the midfield. He's like Sean Longstaff. He's so calm on the ball. He can play your pass. He's very very good in uh, Nuno's system. Their defence is a bit. Iffy for me, I heard, I think uh, one of the defenders may be injured, I think maybe Ryan Bennett might be injured. Uh, but apart from that, I think their defence. Connor Cody's a good leader. Uh, who else they've got in centre back? Oh, Willie Bolly. Or oh, they've got that lad from Real Madrid. So they've got options. Johnny and uh, that other Portuguese wing back, and then they've got Matt Doherty, Adama Traore. We were trying to go after him, but he joined Wolves. But, but they've got a good team. They'll set up this game in a 5 2. A f a f well, a 3 at the back, 5 in the midfield, 2 up top, but the 5 in the midfield, 2 of them are wing backs, and they'll be there with going up and down the pitch. That's my. Uh, looking at Wolves, that's me. Looking how they will do. We'll get on to Newcastle United now, and there's some stuff to say that came out this morning. So I'm gonna just touch on it's nothing to do with the game, but it's to do with a Newcastle United player. Martin Devabga got his six year deal at the club this morning. 
fantastic news. He's a fantastic goalkeeper and we've got him for another six years. He can't ask for much more. We all know that he was looming over this new deal. We didn't know when it was going to happen, but it's great news to see it happen now. And he's a Newcastle United player for the next six years. That's absolutely great news. Linked with Juventus, linked with PSG. He's put them away and he's joined the Newcastle. I even spoke on the training ground and I was speaking about the Chelsea game. Before. I was like, they've got a really good attack and I thought you'd done excellent just to con just for us to concede the one goal. I thought he couldn't really do anything with the goal and he was just speaking with for a bit and Martin Dubai got a fantastic lad and a great player so congrats Martin on your uh, new deal at the club but looking at Newcastle I've got to talk about these two injuries we'll be talking about them in the uh, predict the team tomorrow but Andy Carroll has got a groin injury which looks like he will not make the squad against Wolves and a big blow is Fabian Shaw he has been getting injured most games, but he's keep on playing it, and I think if he is properly injured, that's the club's fault or the physio's fault because we knew that he got injured against Brighton, he got subbed off against Liverpool, he was getting subbed off in them games for getting injured, and we still kept playing them in the next game. International duty, he played both games. Is it a rest for Fabian Shaw that's needed? If... Obviously he is injured, right? Which is unfortunate because he's our best player in my opinion. That means Paul Dummett will come in and Kieran Clark go over the other centre back like the championship days. Like you've got to think that is so mad. We were in the championship three years ago and the defence that looks to be starting against Wolves, we've still got the club. <sighs> Might actually. <laughs> Anyways, looking at going into the game, uh I think we're going to use Jordan and Maximin a lot more. Maximin, if we use him to his ability, if we get balls right down the line, right, he'll be a Matt Doherty. If Maximin could do that long touch, and he's got, he's got, he's got so much pace on Doherty, it is ridiculous. Uh, Miguel Almiro, we're still waiting for his first goal or assist. Uh, it's getting a bit frustrating now, and I think. This is the game. If he doesn't do it, he has to get dropped. Matt Ritchie's looming over, come back from injury. I think if Miguel Amiron doesn't do it, I think Matt Ritchie will have to come into the team against... Who we got next? I, I don't even know. Is it West Ham? But <laughs> whoever it is, I think Miguel Amiron will have to get dropped. And Matt, If Matt Ritchie is fit, because Steve Bruce will confirm tomorrow in his press conference that uh, if Matt Ritchie is fit enough. Because if he's fit, that's absolutely great news. But if he's not, wait until next week, I would say. So, time for my prediction. I am going to say Newcastle United 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. I think it'll be a 1-1 draw uh, at the minute, but it can all change from the... If they get a win tonight, it can all change. We don't know yet. Anyways, lads, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, to predict the team video tomorrow, if you didn't watch the pack opening yesterday... I'm recording this before the pack opening's even done, so I don't know if I've packed anything, if I, I don't know yet. And then obviously I've got the vlog on the Sunday and the player ratings on Sunday, so videos are coming out thick and fast. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one, lads.